Hi, my name is Ray Brodier, and I'm an administrator with the Anoka Hennepin School District. While Anoka Hennepin is Minnesota's largest school district, all of our communities agree about how to keep our schools safe, kind, and engaging for each one of our 39,000 students. As you can see, our core values guide our work to ensure safe and welcoming schools. When we are all compassionate, respectful, take responsibility with integrity, while appreciating diversity, the gears in our system turn and we all benefit. We expect our students to build their social emotional skills. When our students, staff, and community are self-aware, build positive relationships, make responsible decisions, can manage their emotions, and have social awareness, then our schools are safe, our relationships are strong, and everyone engages in their learning. It is important to note, if one of these values or skills are missing, the gears stop and often lead to unsafe schools, poor relationships, and disengagement. Today, administrators from our six middle schools will discuss topics related to maintaining safe and healthy schools, such as social media use, fighting and physical aggression, drugs, alcohol, and misuse, misuse of prescription medication, harassment and bullying, and our weapons policy. If you can take away our one theme today, it's this. We want you to be safe, be kind, and be engaged. If you can just remember these three things, we'll all benefit from a strong and supportive school environment. My name is Devan Seals, and I'm the assistant principal at Kern Rapids Middle School. I want to take a moment to share some important information about social media. We realize your phone or device can connect you to friends and family. However, at school, this can quickly become a distraction and create conflict and disengage you from your learning. Here are a few reminders to keep that from happening. It's important to know any pictures you send Post or Snapchat may be permanent and everyone may see them. Don't ever believe pictures you post or send are private or that they have been deleted. They're rarely private and they often reappear after you thought they were deleted. What you say online or text may also be seen by everyone, including your friends, your family, neighbors, coaches, colleges, and future employers. What you type or text is often taken as truth by other people. I was just kidding, or I didn't really mean it, aren't excuses for mean, hurtful, or threatening comments. People will often believe you meant exactly what you said. Resolving conflicts online is usually like putting gasoline on a fire. It just makes things worse. Talk with people face to face or get help from a trusted adult like your teacher, counselor, or parent. Mean, hurtful, embarrassing, or threatening social media can lead to serious consequences at school and in the community. If you're wondering if you should send something, ask yourself this first. Is it safe? Is it kind? Is it helpful? If the answer is no, then don't send it. Just remember, be safe, be kind, and be engaged and we'll all benefit from a positive school environment. Hi, my name is Todd Subzelka and I'm an assistant principal at Oakview Middle School. And I wanna spend some time talking with you about illegal drugs, alcohol, e-cigarettes, and tobacco. We believe some students think drugs aren't as harmful as they are. Here are some facts you should know. Tobacco products and e-cigarettes are addictive and pose serious health risks. These products are strictly prohibited on school property. Every illegal drug, including marijuana, is harmful and addictive. Many prescription medications are as well. No drug is risk-free and some are deadly. Beyond the known risks of marijuana, it's also dangerous because it could have been grown anywhere, possessed by anyone, and mixed with anything. It's completely unpredictable. Mixing and combining drugs, alcohol, and or prescription medications is extremely dangerous and can be deadly. People who sell drugs or illegally sell prescription medications such as Xanax, Vicodin, or Adderall, for example, can be dangerous to you and your family. They're often persuasive, friendly, and good at telling you what you wanna hear. Despite what they say, they do not care about you or your safety. Use or possession of prescription medications which are not prescribed to you is illegal and dangerous. 
Providing or selling drugs, prescription medications, or alcohol can lead to serious consequences at school and in the community. As obvious as it sounds, buying or selling drugs is called a drug deal, and this is illegal. If you're worried about drug or alcohol use, please talk to someone. Asking for help is a sign of strength. If you have questions or concerns, talk to a trusted adult, such as a social worker, teacher, or administrator at your school. Or talk to any trusted adult to get help if you're worried about yourself, a friend, or a loved one. The best way to end drug use is to get help. Remember, when it comes to drugs, alcohol, and illegal prescription drugs, be safe and ask for help. Hi, my name is Brian Carlson and I'm an assistant principal at Northdale Middle School. Today I want to talk with you about harassment and bullying. Anoka and open schools aim to make school a safe and welcoming environment for all. It's important to know, many times bullying and harassment begin just because someone is joking around. The truth is, many students say they'd rather not be made fun of, especially if it's about who they are, what they look like, or what they believe in. So remember these things. I was just playing, or I was just kidding, are never justifications for bullying or harassment. You don't get to decide what should or shouldn't hurt someone else's feelings. They decide that. Harassment often includes harmful actions or communication related to a person's race, color, religion, national origin, gender, income, family status, or sexual orientation. Bullying is when someone targets the same person over and over again. Bullying and harassment have no place in our schools and can lead to serious consequences both at school and in our community. Anoka Hennepin is committed to providing a safe and respectful learning environment, and the district will provide an education that respects all students and their families. All students, regardless of their gender assigned at birth or regardless of how others perceive their gender, shall be permitted to use any and all facilities consistent with their gender identity. Students will only be required to use individual or otherwise separate facilities if every student is required to do so. Upon their voluntary request, any student who desires increased privacy shall be provided with a reasonable alternative changing area or a separate changing schedule. All students shall be permitted to use any and all facilities consistent with their gender identity. All students must be treated equally and students can only be required to use individual or otherwise separate facilities if every student is required to do so. Upon their voluntary request, any student who desires increased privacy shall be provided with a reasonable alternative changing area or with a separate changing schedule. We believe in a safe and welcoming environment for all. If it's not good for all, it's not good at all. Hi, my name is Lisa Gerth and I'm an assistant principal at Roosevelt Middle School. I wanna talk with you about fighting and physical aggression. The best way to solve differences is by talking to the other person or getting help from a trusted adult. We also know that anyone can become angry, upset, or annoyed, so I want to give you a few tips and reminders. It's important to know friends help keep friends safe. If you think a friend is going to fight, help them get out of the situation. Distract them, move them away from the conflict, and get help from a trusted adult. Stay away from anyone who encourages you to fight or is telling you things that others have said about you. They might act like your friend, but a true friend helps you stay safe and does not create drama. Play fighting or pretend fighting often looks real and creates an unsafe environment for others around you. Physical horseplay often leads to fights and can injure innocent bystanders. Learn the warning signs that a fight is brewing. Be an upstander and discourage others from fighting. If a crowd is forming around a conflict, leave and get help. Crowds and conflict aren't safe and they make the conflict worse. Remember, successful people learn how to be an upstander. An upstander is someone who acts to make positive change for themselves and others without violence. You can be tough without violence. Finally, 
It's important to know that fighting could lead to serious consequences in the school and in the community. If you're angry with someone, get advice from a trusted adult and try to solve the problem without fighting. Solving conflict without violence is a skill that will benefit you forever. Remember, be safe, be kind, and be engaged so we can all benefit from a safe and welcoming school environment. Hi, my name is John Pena. I'm an assistant principal at Anoka Middle School for the Arts, and I want to talk with you about weapons. It is important that you understand that possessing weapons anywhere at or near school is unsafe and not allowed. Sometimes people forget or don't think certain items can get them into trouble. We want to make sure you're informed and we want to ensure our school campuses are safe. It is important to know weapons have no place at school and they make others feel unsafe. Knives, box cutters, razor blades, and pepper spray are considered weapons at school, even if you have them for your job hunting, fishing, or some other type of recreation. All guns, including items that look like guns, are not allowed and violate the weapons policy. This includes airsoft guns, BB guns, or any fake gun that looks real. If you are not sure whether something is a weapon, don't bring it to school. Ask a staff member if it's okay first. If you discover you have a knife, box cutter, or other type of weapon, report it immediately to a staff member to ensure safety in our schools. We want you and everyone else to be safe at school, which is why weapons are never allowed anywhere on property, including your backpack. Remember, be safe, be kind, and be engaged, and we will all benefit from a safe and welcoming school. Hi, my name is Denise Collins. I'm an assistant principal at Jackson Middle School. Before we end today, I want to emphasize the importance of being safe, being kind, and being engaged in our schools. As we all know, any one of us can make mistakes, and a big part of life is learning from those mistakes. However, there is a line between making mistakes and disrupting the learning environment or making others feel unsafe. So that's why it's important to remember that when you're in the halls, in the cafeteria, the classrooms, on the bus, or involved in a school activity that all of us are expected to treat each other with kindness. Students can learn only when schools are safe spaces for everyone. Always try to think about the person you want to be and whether your actions are getting you closer to that or pulling you away from it. Every day you have the power to control who you're going to be and engage in your learning. Remember, this is all to ensure you and everyone else have a great school experience. When we all treat each other well, we make great things happen in Anoka Hennepin. Keep it simple by remembering to be safe, be kind, and be engaged. Thank you for listening and have a great school year.